This film is suitable only for adults of age 18 years and above. ये चलचित्र सिर्फ 18 वर्ष की आयु के दर्शकों के लिए है Thank you for calling support. You are speaking with Alan Cooper. How can I help? I got a, uh, my computer. I got this pop-up thing that says Windows is blocked due to questionable activity. Contact us immediately. Then it says I got five minutes to call. I don't know what's going to happen. Which you have already did. No problem. Okay. I will definitely help you out in this case. Could you please confirm what exactly are you getting on the computer screen right now? Windows Defender Security Warning. Windows was blocked due to questionable activity. Uh, mm-hmm. It says all this stuff on it, and I can't. It says continue or back, and I can't go back. I can't go forward. I can't. I can't do anything. I understand. Uh, Facebook login, credit card information. Please call. I don't know. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, what is the make and model? If it's a laptop or a desktop, and you look back at Dell. It's a desktop. You can tell me brief about. It's a desktop. It's a desktop. Lenovo. Okay. Lenovo desktop. Okay. And uh, what were you doing exactly at the time you got this morning? Well, uh, er, earlier I went to eBay to look for uh, some material, and then I went to Etsy, and mm-hmm. because I sell things on Etsy, and uh, All right. uh, this thing popped up when I tried to go to Etsy because I was checking at things I sell on there. I sell doilies. No problem. It might be possible you have clicked on some unwanted link or advertisement. That's why the computer is blocked due to some suspicious activities. Or it might be possible some unauthorized users might have tried to use your identity for any purposes. I'll go ahead and check, and according to the problem, I'll fix that for you. Okay. I want you to look Let at the left the, side hold on button. Just a second. Hello. Okay. Hello. No, nothing. But there's something wrong with the computer now. I'm in the I'm in the phone with the guy now, but no, nothing came. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to see if this guy can fix. It. Okay, bye, bye. It was my wife. Okay, okay. I'm back. Okay. So I want you to look at the left side bottom corner on the keyboard. There is a control key. Say C T R L. Do you see that? Yes. Right next to the CTRL, what key do you have? Um, the Windows thing key. You have to press and hold the Windows key down using your one finger. Okay. I and did. using your other finger, hit the letter R. R as in Robert. Uh, okay. And this run thing popped up. It says type the name okay. of a program or folder document internet resource okay now release all the keys okay I would like to know if you have something written in that open box or it's blank blank nothing in there I I want you to type in that box letter I as an indigo I okay then click on start download uh, my mouse I can't find my mouse ain't nowhere you can still, you can again hit on enter. Enter, okay. Do you want all of com- I remember these entries. I don't know what that means. Click on no. I can't click. I got no mouse. Try to move your mouse on the screen. It will appear this time. Now I got to think back again. It says I need that number again. But I, I'm telling you, my mouse doesn't go. On. I, there's no mouse on my screen. You need the numbers again? Yeah. One moment. I would have to generate the code again, and the code will be 861. Then it says to start download, but it, I can't start the download because I ain't got no thing to point at it. You can, you can press the enter key, sir. Okay. Now it says... Do you want autocomplete to remember this web form entry? Okay. Then it says, do you want to run or save? 
but I click can't, on run. I can't click on run. That's what I'm trying to say. I understand you are not able to move your mouse. Uh, the mouse you are using right now, is it a wired or wireless? Wireless. Check the batteries of this mouse if it is charged or if it is working. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It was working fine before this thing. All right, I want you to press and hold the power key down to shut down the computer. Shut down the computer? Yes, press and hold the power key down. Okay, it's off. Now you need to wait for 30 seconds and then turn the computer back on. Okay, the computer's back on and my mouse is back. Okay. Make sure not to click anywhere until and unless I will not ask you to click. Okay. What got, do you see on the screen? Uh, do you want to run, save? Click on run. Run. Oh, okay, now it says a support representative will be with you shortly. Um, okay. Windows firewall has blocked some features. Um, then it says uh, allow access. Click on allow access. Okay, now user enable. Click OK. OK. Do you want to allow this app? Yeah, yes. Okay, now support session established with Alan. Click on OK now. Now, please wait. You are successfully connected with the Microsoft Secure Server. Okay. I'll go ahead and check what exactly hap what exactly has happened with this computer and why it has been blocked. Okay. And uh, okay, all right. So that's finance track with the yellow threat detector Trojan spider. See, okay. that's yeah, that's a thing. Mm -hmm. but so it won't this it seems. Oh yes, I'll fix it for you, sir. But first of all, we need to check the problems why it has been blocked. And uh, as I can see here, you are using an i5 processor with the ninth generation, three point. Zero zero gigahertz and it has two processor with a 16 gigabyte of random access memory that means it is a high end configuration this is the best computer you are using i don't know i just bought it i don't know and uh, it shows on the server that you were on the pawn site at the time you got this warning is that correct oh no i was going to etsy i was at any porn site Sir, but incognito window shows here that it, the pawn site was opened up in the computer, and that's why it has blocked your IP address. Do you know what is the meaning of IP address? Yeah, it's something to do with the computer, but I was at no porn site. I understand. So I, I didn't say that it was done by you. I said the last site was opened up in the computer was a blacklisted pawn site. Might be possible... Some unauthorized users, they might have used your IP address for such activities. Oh. If you look right here, this is the status of your IP address. Where? My IP address. I'll educate you about the IP address first. This is your unique identity assigned you by the federal government linked with your social security number. This identity is same for all of your devices where you can access the internet. And this is how the federal government keep records and monitors all of your networking activities to see what exactly you are doing. In they the can computer. see what I'm doing? Um, yes. All of the activities, whatever you are doing, I am doing, or any person is doing by connected with an internet is being recorded and monitored. Uh, uh, I don't like that idea. This is how they catch the bad people who are trying to hack or who are trying to... Well, like the I people. sell my stuff on Etsy. I don't claim it on my taxes. You think they know that? Sir, that is not being recorded by a human being. That oh. is being recorded by the server. Oh, so okay. whatever information you or me or anyone shares by using the computer, that is completely safe and secure. Even the bank's activities are being recorded. As long as they don't know about me not paying taxes, I, I, it's all right. Because <laughs> I'm 71, I'm retired, and I need every dime I can get, so I don't want them pulling my taxes. And you can see the status of your IP address. It says unprotected. Yeah, what's that mean, unprotected? 
Unprotected means it's not protected. Very simple thing. Protected from who, though? That's what I don't understand. Sir, this IP address is not protected because it is completely visible to everyone. If it is visible, that means it can be used by anyone who would have this IP address. They can establish an unauthorized connection with the devices connected with this IP address and they can monitor all of the activities. That means there are some unauthorized users connected with your computer or with your IP address. Uh, well, but how would they get it? I don't understand on this stuff. I'll tell you. The IP address was not secure while you were using it. And whenever you visit on any website and you get some unwanted advertisements or unwanted link, they are created by those unauthorized users. As soon as you will try to close them, it will redirect you to a different page and some hidden applications will automatically download in the computer. And with the help of those hidden applications, they can easily access your devices and they can access your information. Oh, oh I, I don't know how they do that. So this IP address has been blocked because of the high-risk websites. I'll go ahead and check the network status. Okay. And apart from this computer, what all devices are connected with the same IP address? I got a fire stick, a tablet, and my microwave. Your microwave, okay. All right, sir, and then you will have to take this computer to the store to get it fixed, okay? I thought you could fix it. Yes, you need to take it to the store because you are teaching your father how to fuck. Excuse me? Yes. Why are you saying that, sir? You scamming bastard? You piece of shit? <laughs> you piece of shit. You're teaching your father how to fuck. Jesus Christ. Is that all you guys can come up with? You guys cannot come up with anything else to say, can you? You guys, it's impossible for you guys to come up with anything. You fucking yeah. idiots. You're all fucking idiots. You know that, don't you? Huh? Stupid? You're teaching your father how to fuck. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I got it. Okay, very funny. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's very funny. That's all you got, though. That's all you got, right? That's all yeah. you got, you simple yeah. sucker, motherfucker, <laughs> scamming <laughs> bastards. You are a piece of shit. Huh? What are you laughing about? Why would you laugh when somebody calls you a piece of shit? Why would you laugh at that unless you have no brains you were, at all? You were, huh? you were talking to your wife? You no, were I'm talking, talking to, your to wife. you, you piece of shit. You know who I'm talking no. to, you fuckface. You were talking to your wife. No, I was talking I'm telling to you. her that you have some problem with the computer. I was talking to oh you. God. You are a nice actor. Yeah. You are a nice actor. Yeah, well, you're a shitty you scammer. How, how about act. that? You're a shitty scammer. You better go find but a real... you don't know how to... Why don't you go but find... you don't know how to act. Why don't you go find a real you fucking job? You were trying job? to. That was the... That was the well attempt, but you don't know how to do that. But wait, you want to see my bank? Let me show you my bank here. I'll show you my bank since you're such a scam. There you go, fucker. That's for you. What do you think of that, scammer? Huh? Fuckface? I'm sorry. All right, sir. Bye bye. Take bye. care. Bye, piece of shit. Goodbye, piece of shit. Take care, sir. Take care, Take care you sir. piece of shit. Get hit by a fucking bus, will you? You fuck face. Take care, sir. May God bless you. Yeah, okay. I'm sure I'll give, I'm sure he's going to bless you, you thieving bastard. Bye-bye. Take care, sir. Okay, piece of shit. Goodbye. All characters, names, places, and plots used in your program are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental.